Hello, my name is Brandon Sills, and I'm here to present to you a video regarding Azure Link Pro into Discord from any of your DAWs. Uh, this is an issue that seems to be a little bit prevalent with those that are using a Scarlet Solo or a 2i2, for example. And if anything, this is something that should be able to help you kind of work around possible stuttering when you're trying to pipe audio from your DAW into Discord. So as you can see under your voice and video settings, you have a lot of details here. So we're gonna go over some of those real quick. Your input device typically is gonna be one of your ASIO Link Pro uh, microphone inputs and your output can be basically whatever you want it to be. If you're piping audio from Discord into your DAW, you probably wanna use one of these and route accordingly. Some of the other settings here that we can go over real quick while we're at it. When dealing with input from your DAW into Discord, automatically determine input sensitivity should be turned off. Further down, noise suppression for the advanced part should be turned off. We're not using crisp or any of that stuff for this purpose. Now with voice processing, you wanna turn off echo cancellation, noise reduction, and automatic gain control. As far as quality of service, you don't really need to enable this feature. Attenuation, don't need to worry about that right now. Audio subsystem, most people are gonna have it on standard, but the option for legacy still exists. Now, if you happen to have any stuttering, try switching from standard to legacy. That may clear up some of the issues that you might be having if you're experiencing stuttering. The remainder of this should be pretty much straightforward. You don't really need to tweak anything else as far as that's concerned. If your input is a little too weak, obviously, you know, turn that down just a little bit. If it's a little too hot, turn it up, but it may not even really matter to begin with. Hopefully this can help you kind of figure out whether or not if it's your interface or if it was Discord in this regard. If it happens to be Discord, you'll find out from changing some of these settings and maybe that problem clears up for a day or two or maybe for the foreseeable future. It's an issue that some people may have, so I wanted to be able to present this to you as best possible. And hopefully this helps you in figuring out whether or not if it was Azure Link Pro or Discord or maybe even your audio interface. It's not really a common thing for a lot of people to have issues when piping audio from their DAW into Twitch or YouTube or Facebook using OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS. But this issue can happen. And if you're experiencing it, I hope this video does help you out in getting a better understanding of this. There will be some future videos that are apparently a bit of a request for Azure Link Pro videos. So I'm gonna to try to go over some of those as soon as I can. If this video helped you out in any given way, please put a thumbs up, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. It'll help me out in being able to continue providing you information that might be of interest or of some form of relevance to you and your journey in audio. Thank you very much and keep it easy.